Kia ora e te whanau, it's Emily and Alan. We are science in a van and you know we've done a lot of experiments but mm. there's still some we haven't explored. That's right, one is squishy circuits. Now normally when you make your electric circuit you have a battery and let's say a light bulb and you connect them with wires. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to use wires, we're going to use Play-Doh. It's so cool. So in this video we're going to teach you how to make two types of Play-Doh. This one is conductive, so it allows electricity to flow through it. And this one we're going to teach you how to make doesn't allow electricity to flow through, and that is an insulator. To make the conductive Play-Doh, you will need to take one cup of plain flour and put into a saucepan. To this, add one cup of water. Once that's all mixed together, you can add half a cup of salt. And now three tablespoons of cream of tata. No worries. Once you've got all this together, add a tablespoon of oil. And if you are using food colouring, now is a good time to add it. I added red for danger, but the choice is yours. Now it's time to give it a good mixy mixy on a medium heat. Keep stirring to keep a good consistency. Your Play-Doh should be coming together like so and pulling away from the saucepan and forming a nice Play-Doh texture. As you knead your dough you can add flour if it's too soft or vegetable oil if it's too dry. Your conductive Play-Doh is ready to use or it can be stored in the fridge. Enjoying this video? Please support us by liking, subscribing and in the comments you can see where you can support us on Ko-fi as well. We appreciate it. For the insulating Play-Doh, add one cup of plain flour. To this add half a cup of sugar and the next thing you need to add is three tablespoons of vegetable oil. If you are using food colouring now is a good time. I use green just because. Add water at a tablespoon at a time and you use about half a cup in total. It's time to knead again, so turn out your insulating Play-Doh onto a board and start to knead. If it's too soft or too sticky, add more flour. If it's too dry, add some vegetable oil. And knead to a consistency you are happy with. This is now ready to be used or can be stored in the fridge. We hope you've enjoyed that video and are excited about making your own Play-Doh. Ones that conduct, lets electricity flow through, and ones that are insulators that don't let that electricity through. And if you join us next time, we're going to show you some of the fantastic things you can do with these two types of Play-Doh. Science in a bag